Isn't it funny how one small decision can have consequences that ripple through history? Or are we victims of a predetermined path? Was it chosen for you the day you visited your favorite woods on your 10th birthday? Was it destiny that the royal family were hunting there at the same time? From a tree on high, you watched as Prince Voldar and Princess Osen laughed, talked, and tracked wild animals without a care in the world. And you watched in helpless horror as a stray arrow bolted through the trees, hitting the prince in the chest like a lightning strike. Just like that, the prince was dead. And when the princess found you standing over her brother's dead body, it felt as though the gods were playing a cruel trick on you all. In the panic and confusion, you ran from the scene as fast as your legs would carry you. Fueled by rage and grief, the king demanded the head of any child who fit your description. Fearing for your life, your father asked a friend to bring you far away. Away from the king's wrath. In the middle of the night, you were taken from your home and brought away on horseback. In tears, you called out to your mother, but it was too late. Your old life was over. For years, you hid from the royal family, your resentment growing. You heard stories of your homeland, the rise and fall of a rebellion, the death of the king, and the reign of the evil Queen Osen. But on the eve of your 20th birthday, your guardian, the man who smuggled you out of Calvinia and kept you safe all these years, was brutally killed by a mysterious assassin. As he died in your arms, his hand clutched a coin with a strange sigil emblazoned upon it, a clue. Now, you have returned to your homeland for answers. Through choice or through fate, vengeance would be yours. But how will you fare in a land you no longer recognize? Okay, welcome to Bellright. A new game. We're excited to try this out. I'm gonna be, uh, I think, I don't know if can we do first person or is it strictly third person? Belongs to a nearby village. Okay, so we can't, can't harvest things that are close to another village. Okay, we're gonna talk to the elder. Come closer. Hopefully they have it talking. I think we need to talk, Traveler. You're a new face around here, and new faces showing up rarely ends well for this village. I have a duty to my village first and foremost. I need to know who you are and why you came here. I mean you no harm. I came from the lowlands looking for some answers. Looking for answers, huh? In a perfect world, I could give you all the information you need, and you could be on your way. But speaking openly can be a death sentence these days. As long as you're asking questions, you're putting us in danger. No, but you have my permission to build a shelter on the outskirts of the village. Come back once you're set up, and maybe you can earn your keep. Curious times we live in, with talk of wars and rebels and such. Okay. So, we gotta get set up. Let's see. Uh, build your first shelter, a shack. To do so, press B. Okay, that's your build menu, uh, construction menu. Shack, place it on the ground. Each construction requires resources to build it. Build 
building the shack shouldn't be a problem for you, but on later hire villagers so you can help you with your complex construction. You cannot place buildings too close to existing villages. Find a good spot close to all sorts of resources. A first decision that will affect your load. Okay. Okay, so this is a uh, wolves. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do anything with that yet. I want to make sure I have. Morning, friend. Mind the mud on the path. Seeking something. I'm glad that they have it to where it's it does the speaking, so you don't have to read all of it. Kind of like that's the only thing I don't like about um, medieval dynasty. I like when they have the characters have their own voice. Now, what is that? Oh, it's, uh, okay, occupied. It's kind of a nice open field that would make a good settlement place. If I want to set up my own Community. Is this still too close? Yeah. Equals this looks to be some. Let's see what's over this way. Oh, what about the one that's a stump? Yeah. Okay. Need the tool. Big rabbit. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's go over by this little like cliff side here. That might be. Oh, here we go. Uh, sleeping restores your HP fully. Uh, when you and your company lose a battle, they respawn but become injured and in certain amounts of time. When you lose again, before healing, they die forever. Okay, injuries apply. Okay. That's different. Usually they don't do the harvest, you know, like harvest with the mouse click. That's good. These apple, it almost looks like an apple. see if there's rocks up here. I did pick up one rock, but... set up right here. It'll kind of block us. And it'll have resources. We got food, we got stone, we got wood. Okay. Personal shack.
Well, this kind of reminds me of that tribal where you have to put each piece. they have in Medieval Dynasty. It's supposed to be a deer. if we can build what we can be build. Okay, now we've got different things. Outhouse. Huh. Um, let's see, workbench. That might be a good idea because that might be able to get us some tools. Oh, research also. Is that inventory? Yeah. How do we eat? Consume. Okay, let's go, um, go for wood parts. Okay, let's see if we should be able to find some more wood around.
instead of doing like hitting F or D or E. stone. So that's where we build the... allows you to allows you and your settlers to craft all armors, tools, weapons, refined materials which will be critical for your success it, of a settlement. got a log. That kind of makes it we can craft anything different. Oh, log takes up a lot of space. Let's see what we got. Weapons, tools, okay. A torch. I'm not going to build that right yet. Uh, let's, uh, let's look at our build menu. Uh, let's get our outhouse placed. Oh, no, no, no. Can I put it away? Yeah, okay, good. 
think I would. That's weird. Why can't I? I thought I had more wood on, and I do. Oh, I need logs. the restroom kind of thing. One of those, like, oh. what's that game? Oh, I, get, I just had a brain freeze on that game. The one where you have, like, the chip in the back of your head and you'd have to survive, like, zombie kind of things. Um, scum. Yeah, the game's scum. Uh, let's see. Now, how about the research? considered wood or do I oh, okay it does get me wood So every time you click, you click with the right mouse button, it changes your the angle that you swing it. Here, let's try putting the axe away and maybe bring it back out again and see if that changes it back to what it needs to be. Yeah. days until winter.
able to make better armor and stuff like that. It's nice and dry in here. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> Does that look like it would be dry in here? <laughs> Not really. I guess going out would be a big issue. Let's, we got to get some more branches. this log no I thought maybe we can make that log into a the wood if we chop it up This is researching. Require small trap, one duration, 20 seconds. Re uh, let's see, workers will be automatically assigned to make sure that uh, enough workers available for work. Okay, uh, can I research it on my own?
research the trap. Okay, here's the trap. Simple workbench. Zero percent researched. See, it says stop research. I don't know how to start the research. That's the, it says stop research, but it doesn't. I'm not seeing how to start it unless it just does it automatically over time. One worker can be used to research new buildings, craft tools. Okay. Um, the more powerful your settlement becomes, the more likely it is attracting raiders and parties. Invest into guards and better gear for fighting back. Build outposts. Don't limit yourself to just one settlement. You may need resources that can be found at other corners of the region. Uh, you can find all the useful information in the town overview. It's, it's still. Okay, so that's repairs, crafts. I just don't see how we're... See, it still says 0%. How am I supposed to do this? It just says research. One more. Well... We'll get back to the village and talk to the... that's where we're going to leave off for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments. Um, the game looks really cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, Heather, for your continued support as a channel member. I appreciate it. If anybody else is interested in helping me maintain my channel, I'd really appreciate it with the super thanks or a membership would be awesome. Have a great rest of your day.